Have you been wondering why the blank canvas has been looking more ominous recently? Or maybe you've been losing more of your pants than usual. Well, the reason seems pretty obvious to me. And that just has to be demons. Materializing as artists struggles and getting stronger with Halloween approaching. So today I'll be imagining what those demons look like and animating them. The first demon I'll be animating is imposter syndrome. A struggle no AI artist will ever go through. Imposter syndrome is basically feeling like a fraud or not deserving of the success you've achieved. Many artists struggle with this, and I would say I'm one of them, but for some reason saying that I struggle with imposter syndrome feels pretentious. And I guess that's part of the whole struggle. We don't want to be pretentious about our art, so we talk ourselves down, sometimes to the point where we become unaware of whether it deserves the praise or not. I thought the demon version of imposter syndrome should be some sort of mimic or shapeshifter who morphs into their victim to make them insecure or to highlight the reasons why they should be. The next demon is the pen stealing goblin. This one is a sillier one, but I think it's still an important issue we all face. I imagine that little goblins are actually the reason for all of our disappearing pens. They probably live in our walls and love exploring our workspaces. And the interesting thing about them is that they don't even really care about the pens themselves. Otherwise, they would just steal any pen they can. But no, they just want to mess with us by grabbing the pen we just put down for us to later find it in a completely different spot on a random day when they've decided they don't want it anymore. This one probably gave me the least trouble to animate, maybe because I was lazy with it, or maybe because animating a little goblin is super fun, or maybe it's a bit of both. Either way, I'm quite happy with this one. Then there's the blank page. Now, this one's a scary one, and personally it's also one of my most hated art-related struggles. It's the main reason why I find it hard to keep a sketchbook, because to me drawing in a sketchbook means filling it with many random sketches and doodles, and maybe I'm just way less of a creative person than I thought, but finding ideas can be so hard for me, or at least it's very inconsistent. So that's the reason why my sketchbooks are usually kind of empty and boring. By the way, I started a new sketchbook recently, and surprisingly enough, it's actually been going really well. This has never happened to me before, so I wanted to mention it here because I'm just really excited about that. Another time where the blank page has gotten to me was actually in art school, and it happened way too much. More often than not, whenever we would start working on a new assignment in class, I would end up sitting at my desk looking at a blank piece of paper for sometimes hours desperately trying to think of an idea I liked, until it hits randomly and I suddenly have the ability to draw again. It is heinous to experience and I do not wish it upon any other artist. Anyway, all this to say, I truly understand the struggle, and to anyone who relates, I'm with you. We can't push through it. And finally, we have burnout. The way I experience burnout is that whenever I overwork myself within a certain medium, I immediately circle back to a different one. Let me know if you do the same. But when I get burnt out, I never completely want to break from being creative in general. And maybe that's because again, my creativity is always somewhat slow, but I'm not sure. Either way, I think it's fair to say that forcing your creativity or passion whenever it starts slowing down is basically how you end up with burnout. So what a better way to represent it than a literal fire creature. You can obviously tell that I got heavily inspired by Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle, but unlike Calcifer, Burnout appears whenever he can scent an artist's burning passion for their craft. He seems like he wishes to help, but very soon he ends up taking over your body and overworking it to its limits until you completely run out of fuel and the fire consumes you whole.
Ironically, by the time I was done with this animation, I was, in fact, feeling quite burnt out. But at the very least, no one will take away the funny looking frames I got from it. I wish I could have animated more of these, it was quite fun. But hey, there's always next year, so let me know if you have some artist struggles slash demons of your own that you'd like me to tackle for you. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!